Hey gardening friends! Caitlin from Miller Flowers. We are Greenhouse and Garden Center here in Greenville, Ohio. So I'm coming to you today with a couple tips on how to repot your house plants. I'm in the middle of repotting this gorgeous fiddle fig and the Sansevieria snake plant. Both of those are, both of them are a little bit on the root bound side. So I'm going to show you how to repot those, give you a few tips, and also a few tips on when to take your house plants outside for the summer. So I would highly recommend carrying your houseplants out in the summer when the evenings are consistently 50 degrees and above. So you want to wait until about the 1st of June, end of, end of May, 1st of June to take those houseplants outdoors. Uh, that is what I would recommend for putting your houseplants outdoors to enjoy our wonderful heat of our summer in the humidity that our area provides. So if you are in the middle of repotting all your houseplants, you, maybe a lot of your houseplants are root bound as well. Question a lot out here, how do I know if my houseplants are root bound? Start seeing it. So you'll kind of notice like this fiddle fig here. I'm gonna show the camera. As you can tell, a lot of the roots are at the top of the pot. That right there is a good indicator that this plant is root bound. Another indicator that the plant is root bound is that you'll start seeing roots coming out of the pot and even the pot bulging. So there is some, some plants like Sansevieria that the pot, the green grow pot can start bulging and you'll notice that. If they are in a ceramic pot, they won't bulge like they will um, in a plastic pot. Another good indicator if it is in a ceramic container is again the roots coming out of the bottom of the pot or it's starting to, it's pushing its way up to the top. That's another good indicator that your plants are root bound and need repotted. And the spring is a great time to do that. So this Sansevieria is definitely on the root bound side. As you can tell it's very well rooted and so I'm going to be planting that up into a bigger container. So this Sansevieria came out of a six inch pot like this right here and so I'm going to be planting it up into a gallon container. So this is about an eight inch an eight inch but it's quite deep out of the container. I always get confused with all of our different sizes of pots and that we have but this right here is a six inch it's going to go up into a gallon container which would be more of like an eight inch in size um, in width. Repotting house plants you want to make sure that you are repotting your house plants into a new pot that is about one to two inches bigger than the pot that is coming out of. So instead of going from a 10 inch and going all the way up to an 18 inch, you want to go from a 10 inch to a 12 inch container. There's some plants that do take it fairly root bound, like the ZZ plants. Those you can wait for a while to repot into another container. So let's get started in repotting this. So what I will do is I will take off a little bit of the old roots, break it up a little bit, especially the bottom part like this right here. That just gives it room to breathe. There is some plants though that do not like their roots messed with, so you want to be careful when you do mess with those plants. Repotting my house plants, I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping the soil level with the top of the pot. If I go too deep with my plant, my plant could rot off. So I want to make sure that I'm again keeping that level. In pots like this, I will take my fingers and go around the root ball and just make sure that all the soil is down inside the pot. So next up I'm going to be repotting this ginormous fiddle into this container right here. So I think that's going to give it plenty of room to grow and to become a beautiful and happy plant in its new container. This plant is that it means that your house plants are growing and that is super exciting. So when you go to repot your houseplants, give yourself a pat on the back because your houseplants are growing and they need a new container. And voila! Mr. Fiddle, actually Mr. Fiddle's child because our Mr. Fiddle is huge. There it is, in a new container. So happy living in your new container. May you be lo live long and prosper, plant. So that is repotting houseplants. We have a lot of different container options out here at Miller Flowers to choose from. Actually, I'm going to take you out there to see all of our gorgeous pottery that we got in and give you some ideas on when you go to repot your houseplants.
All right, so we're out in our courtyard where we have all of our beautiful containers. And I wanted to show you some of the containers that we just got in. These are massive, they're ceramic, they're beautiful. They would go great outside and indoors. One thing when you're choosing a container, what I would recommend looking for is pots with drainage holes. So you can't really tell because there's a sticker right there in the middle of it, but that is a drainage hole. So if you're looking for a container that has a hole in the bottom, those are gonna be the best containers for your house plant. What that means is when you go to water, your water will come out of the bottom of the container and you want that. Had a container or that does not have a drainage hole, what happens is your water will, will sit in the bottom of the container. Many cool pots and we even carry so many cool pots that do not have a drainage hole and it's kind of frustrating at times. But I'll, I've, we've been noticing as we've been placing our orders and our orders have been arriving that a lot of the new containers have drainage holes in the bottom of the container and so they are listening to us and they are sending pots with drainage holes or cre making pots with drainage holes. So that is something that we are very happy to see. If it's going indoors and you're wondering if it has a drainage hole, what am I gonna do about the water? There's always saucers. So we do sell a plastic saucer that can go underneath the bottom of your container. Take those plants to the, a bathtub or to a sink and water them there and let them sit in that area and let them drain in that sink or in the bathtub. This is also a gorgeous pot as well. I love the design. This is a beautiful pot. This one is a fun design. So we talked about repotting house plants. So after you found a ceramic container or a container to repot your house plants into, we would highly recommend fertilizing your house plant. So this is Jack's Classic Fertilizer House Plant Special. We actually use similar brand or actually Jack's brand of fertilizer out here at Miller Flowers. We recommend it because it just works so well and it does so well for plants. And so this house plant fertilizer is a great idea to um, fertilize your house plants after you're done repotting them, water them well, fertilize them. And I would recommend fertilizing um, your house plants once to twice a month. You can even fertilize during the winter. House plants are actively growing fertilized. And so highly recommend fertilizing your house plants for nice, big, bushy, green plants. At least our new potting bar, yay! So we created a potting bar out here at our greenhouse this year, which we are really excited about. And so what our potting bar is, and what it applies to you, is that when you come out to Miller Flowers and you purchase a container eight inches or smaller, you can plant that container here with our soil for free and take it home. That is a fun idea to do with friends on a rainy day like today and bring out these friends and create a container to take home. And so we also can do bigger sizes as well, but there will be a fee in with that. We can also, our staff can help you create your containers as well here at Miller Flowers. Um, if you have a multiple containers, we just ask that you give us a heads up so that we can help you with that. If you are repotting a plant that you're just a little bit not sure what to do or how to do it, give us a call, bring it in and we can work on our potting bench and repot that plant, that house plant into a new container for you as well. So this is our new potting bar. We are very excited about it and we hope that you can come stop out and see us. Our new potting bar, all of our new ceramic pots. We also are getting in a new shipment of house plants this week, which we are very excited about as well. Lots of things happening this spring at Miller Flowers. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy repotting your house plants.